Hey, uh, it's Bat Jack JW <laughs> back with you, and we're gonna talk about some grips. Uh, <laughs> I started to uh, design a different grip, as you guys know, if you've been around my channel a lot. Uh, you know, I've uh, made some grips for Single Action Army, uh, basically for the uh, the John Wayne replica kind of stuff. I'm a really big fan of the Duke, uh, hence the name of the channel. Some people uh, ask me that a lot. <laughs> so. This is the kind of grips I started to look into making because uh, they, uh, as far as everything I know about the, this style of a grip, it comes from the 50s, 60s retro era, uh, back where uh, Colts are doing these uh, phenolic kind of resin grips and what have you. And so uh, they, I think what it is, is they ran out of the old World War II uh, panel grips that they were using that were made out of either bake like or you know some kind of resin of some sort. So they ran out of those, so they started printing their own or making their own uh, other ones with the logo on them and everything. So I uh, always wanted a set, and what they are, they're kind of like they. I think they. I've heard them ter use this term as Colt wood uh, grips and stuff like that. So uh, they're usually a, a kind of a marbling of uh, colors. Uh, they they got like an orange marbling going through them and uh, along with the uh, the the brown and and whatnot and you got going on there. Um, I went on you know you usually see them in eBay gun shows and stuff like that. Uh, when I pass them off or pass through them on gun shows and stuff, people usually want a pretty penny for them. Uh, I seen them upwards of fifty bucks and more at gun shows. Um, what really got me started with this was because uh, when I was on eBay and I was trying to get a set. Uh, really to look at a uh, closer look because I actually don't have a real set uh, th that auction went for hundred and sixty one dollars uh, that's no kidding and they were something very similar to this so I said okay that's it my thinking cap went on and I said I'm going to recreate this grip somehow um, what you're seeing here now is the uh, that's the ones here on there now I've actually showed these in another video uh, go and check it called resurrecting a forgotten grip because I, I that's just what I kind of feel like about these grips. They're almost forgotten in a sense. So I started in and started printing them out, uh, you know, just getting them out uh, out of the molds and stuff and making them. Uh, different shading of uh, orange going through them. Some of them uh, not, you know, a little bit different. Some of them with a little bit more color. Um, some like this, or I've got that one with a little bit more of a you know orange you know here and there and that's really what I really like is when you when you make them well at least when I make them you don't really know what the pattern is going to look like uh, each one is going to be very unique to its own uh, bit and uh, this one here is kind of like a uh, one of my favorites uh, this one looks more like wood really um, but I like the way the colors are, are vibrant in it still and, and all that so really cool stuff get them right off of there and they stick on pretty good um, onto the uh, the gun uh, unlike uh, some of the other stuff I've done with the with these materials is one thing I was really concerned with was how durable uh, some of these things can be or are they gonna be um, one was you know are you gonna be able to uh, are they gonna just shatter uh, it can take like a you know something like that and I was concerned with are they going to shatter or whatnot, you know. So they've actually uh, turned out to be a, a little bit of a different kind of a, a durability in a sense. They actually have some flex to them, uh, which is kind of neat because you can actually somewhat flex them. Not a whole lot, but you can see that. But it helps it with uh, sticking onto the uh, the frame of the pistol and everything. So. But yeah, I, uh, this is just kind of a project that I started to do, and as you can see, it, it made itself into quite a bit of uh, uh, pieces here. So uh, that's just kind of what it is. I felt like nobody was doing a recreation really of this grip that far as I could see, or uh, all the research I did on it, and um, nobody seems to do any kind of reproduction of them. Uh, I had gone over to uh triple k i believe is the company 
uh, Vintage Grips, otherwise I guess known as VintageGrips.com, which was actually courtesy to of Ken Hackathorn. I was watching one of his videos, and he was talking about these old uh, resin type phenolic resin Colt grips, and I, you know, immediately jumped on over there, uh, really in in the height of getting this beautiful uh, Colt commercial reproduction gun. Uh, pretty much of a reproduction of that commercial gun. Um, I, you know, so I went ahead and ordered it immediately. Uh, they were like 70 bucks, I think, by the time it was said and done. And I actually ordered it in brown, orange color. And uh, what I ended up getting, which I thought this was what I was going to get, which was something like this with the marbling and the cool factor going through. And it, it's kind of weird because, like, on camera, it's really vibrant. It, it really, a lot of the colors are just, poof, you know, but uh, it really is almost subdued. Uh, in person when you actually see them they're not as but it, it's actually the coloring on the video looks good because it kind of gives you an idea of what's going on um, but you know when I got them they weren't what I was expecting they didn't have this marbling and stuff through it uh, they were just a solid orange brown color which was okay I liked them I mean I don't regret buying them I still have them uh, especially the price on them but uh, it wasn't really what I was looking for. This is, in the end, uh, having to make my own is what I was looking for. So uh, there it is. I mean, that's kind of the lineup that I did. Uh, kind of created my own thing here. And as far as I know, it just seems like I'm the only, this is like the only, you know, way to do this or get one of these other than paying a ridiculous amount of money per set uh, on eBay or something like that to get them. You know, I don't want to sound like all... <laughs> crazy or anything but it's like i don't see any other company trying to do this and which is a shame they, they ought to they ought to try to bring it back but i think maybe prob probably because it wasn't that popular but i've heard of other people looking for them because they wanted to make you know kind of throw them back on their commercial guns uh and kind of make it look like back how it used to look so and i was one of those people now i do my own <laughs> so it's it's a a great deal of fun i love doing it because i love uh seeing what it turns out to you know it's like a box of chocolates <laughs> so anyway enjoy yourselves uh bat jack jw thanks for sticking around with the channel and thanks for being a subscriber uh we're always uh coming up with something new to do and all that so we'll go ahead and uh end you with that so give you a nice uh kind of a look at some of these again just to do so oops as i drop you know spill the camera on over but what are one of my favorite things is really i love how you know the tops you can see the marbling going through and you know some of them maybe you know not not so much uh some are more subdued like this set which actually is um i really like because they're kind of just it they're they they hint at being there the the marbling but you know it's not uh it's more of a darker you know, wood and you got you know something like uh like these right here that really um i tried to say well let's see uh, let's go how how much orange can we add in there and uh that that ended up that way but um, you get something like that, where it's just a couple of sections. Or you know, like, uh, like that. Through. But uh, like I said, when I was uh, kind of on my way of bidding on that one, uh, that I ended up like saying, well, there's no way I'm not going to pay a hundred dollars for them. It's just ridiculous for, and they shrunk by the way, they, the, the originals would shrink over time. So if you're trying to buy an original set, be cautious of that because they do shrink. The old original ones would shrink and they don't fit on your gun anymore. So you might be wasting money there unless you just want to put them in a box and have them. Um, but these are kind of a replica of uh, what I saw and didn't end up winning the auction wise but um, anyway I think uh, I like them so hope you do too <laughs>